Hi everyone! This week we're going to be talking about observations and research and this should get you on the path for doing the observation for our class um, observation when you're going to be going and looking at kids in a child care setting. Um, the learning objectives this week are recognizing how you should kind of be aware about child's development and identify ways you can gather information about what children are doing. Um, I also want you to identify basic rules of observation and also different types of observation records. Um, I want you to be able to recognize how different observation assessments can be used and how we can use these observations to facilitate children's learning and development. I know that some of you have asked, like, why can't we just observe our own children or why can't we observe a friend's child? Observing a child in a child care setting is a little different, and that's one of the reasons why we want you to go and observe a child in a child care setting and see how they act differently within the setting. Um, when you observe your own child, it's hard to be objective about their development. Um, most of us think our kids are brilliant. I mean, I think my kids are brilliant. And um, so you can't always be objective when you're observing your very own child. And so when you go into a setting, you're really getting an experience to see, wow, this is what a child care setting is like. Um, hopefully by the end of the observations, you're going to be able to apply your observation skills to the observation assignment, and you're going to be able to talk about different behaviors you've seen and um, talk about how the child is developing and if it appears that they're developing within like normal ranges. Thanks so much, and please post as many questions as you need to.